Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing the live demonstration of the RI4000. Now we're going to go over the whole equipment itself. We're also going to go over some maintenance. Now something neat about the RI4000, it's to be able to print cotton and polyester. You only need this machine and you need a heat press. So let's go ahead and get started guys. So the outside of the machine, you're looking at about 5 feet long or about 3 feet wide. You're looking at about 24 inches. We do have a 7 inch LCD display that has various options. Some of the options in here are going to be a shirt option to go ahead and load your garments or your files and do the table alignments. You can also pull images from a USB or a storage device. If you go to the next option, which will be your maintenance, this will be do nozzle checks, we will do auto head cleans, and I'll explain that to, do, to you guys a little later. How to do jig maintenance and how to release your carriage. We also have a maintenance list so you can see what maintenance is needed for the machine. As we go back to our maintenance list here, we can go ahead and go to our alignments. This is something that you would typically do with a technician. And then right here we have a parts menu. This shows you which parts are nearing the end of lifetime. So when the parts are getting older, they'll go from green to yellow to red. Once they get to red, then it's time to think about switching out some of those parts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the side of the machine here towards the left. We're gonna have a total of six inch, which would be two whites and then black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. We also have four enhancers. Now all of these are key to fit in the appropriate slots and they have a chip that lets you know the percentages of each one. Now if you go towards the bottom of the machine, you guys can see right here, we have our waste tanks. That's to get, collect any waste during maintenance or while the machine is doing its own auto maintenance. If we go over here towards the right side, we're gonna go ahead and look at our cleaning container. So this right here, this is cleaner that actually jets onto the maintenance station, keeping your wiper clean and reducing any ink buildup. All right guys, let's go ahead, open up the machine and we can look inside. As you guys can see, we have a total of two carriages. Each carriage has four print heads. The back carriage right here, this is gonna be for our enhancer. The front carriage is gonna be for our colors, which if you look here towards the carriage, you can see that we have two heads that have white. And then we have two other heads that share colors, which would be magenta yellow, cyan, and black. As you guys can also see here towards the center of the machine, we have our fan filters to prevent any ink misting from building up inside your machine. We have an encoder and we have some guy rods. We also have a left ink sump. This is where the carriage comes over. You get a couple of drops of ink, so that way when you guys print, you guys don't have any ink build up on the bottom of it or any bubbles, giving you a nice crisp print. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and open up color gates and we're gonna bring in our file. And as you guys remember, we are printing on the black shirt, 100% cotton, so we're gonna go to our hot folder here. We're gonna select 100% cotton. And it's gonna be a black garment. We're gonna go ahead and bring up our image. And then once it's loaded, we're gonna make sure we have no empty space. If we do, we'll go ahead and crop it. As you guys can see right here, my image is quite large, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce this in size. So here's my image. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove all this empty space by going to my cropping tool. And I'm just going to bring my crop lines close to the image as possible so we get a nice, a nice readout on the size of this image. Alright, so go ahead and check that out. So now we're going to change our width here to 11 and we're going to go ahead and place our image and we're going to rotate this so it comes out of the printer with the collar towards the printer. Alright guys, so now we got it all set up and everything's done. Our settings are all set using a hot folder. Let's go ahead and send this to the printer and let's go print this. Alright guys, so let's get our shirt ready. We're going to be using a 100% cotton shirt. See right here, so our percentage of cotton. And we're gonna prep the shirts by bringing it to our heat press. We're gonna spread a little bit of water on it just to bring down some of those fibers. And then we're gonna press the shirt. So we're gonna press over about 30 seconds at 280 degrees for cotton. You wanna do 270 for polyester. Hey guys, so now that we got our shirt nice and ironed, we got it dry, we also removed some of those wrinkles on there. We're going to go ahead and bring it over to our printer. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either dress your shirts, if you're doing now, 
100% cotton shirt. If you are doing a polyester shirt, I recommend dressing the shirt. What that means is you're gonna put the plastic in between both parts of the material of the shirt like this. Now we do this to prevent any ink from transferring from the top of the garment to the back of the garments because polyester is kind of thin, guys. So this is the best way of doing that. Now if you have a mixed material, you can go ahead and also drape it as well like I did earlier. So this one's here, it's 100% cotton. So I'm just gonna drape it over. Just put it right in there, make sure everything's lined up. And then I'm gonna get my hoop. My hoop here prevents the shirt from shifting during printing. Okay, so now that it's all loaded, I'm just gonna go onto my screen and I'm gonna do my auto hide adjustments. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna give me the optimal printing distance between my garments and the actual print hood. We don't want our garment being too low or too close because we can get messed in if it's too low. If it's too high, we can come in contact with the carriers. Guys, so you guys can see the first character moves is the back one. Now this is our enhancer. Now the advantage is to have a built-in enhancer is you don't buy any extra equipment and then also prints digitally. So what that means, it's only gonna apply enhancers in the areas where it's gonna apply ink. It's not gonna be any areas that are not needed. This is gonna reduce the big score that you usually get with uh, doing the TG printing. It's also gonna save you guys some enhancer or in other cases known as now this is also going to give you a nice uniform amount enhancer print after print. Our machine is going to apply the first layer of white ink. So what this layer of white ink does, it reacts with the enhancer. It coagulates it, preventing that ink from going through the material. So some of it goes into the material, but not all of it. Why is there a white spot on here? Hmm? Why is there a white spot on here? Hmm. Auto machine do they do usually, usually do two layers of white? Hmm. I don't know. This right here, guys, is going to be our second layer of white. Now, the reason we do two layers of white is because our first layer we actually the enhancer, coagulating the ink, and then our second layer could be considered our base layer.
the what is that? Alright guys, so this here will be a highlight layer. Now what this is doing, it's not printing white on a whole graphic. It's only going to print white and select the areas where the image was white. So we do this to get a nice vibrant solid color, creating a little bit of contrast in the image. Now this step is not really necessary in most cases, but it is a nice little touch. Alright guys, so now that we got past our base of white ink and enhancer and then we got past our second and our whites, now we're coming into our color here. You can see it's a Julian exceptional when it comes to painting color. You get nice color differences, you get a nice crisp, crisp image, and a lot of detail. So now that our graphic is done printing, we're going to go ahead and remove the hood and we're going to bring our graphic to our heat press. Now, I recommend doing about 30 seconds of hover dry before you actually press the garment. So this is going to help keep some of those nice colors vibrant. As you can see here, my heat press is about an inch or two off my garments. Now, depending on how much ink you guys use, it can be anywhere from 30 seconds to about 40 seconds. So right now, we're not going to do that many seconds. We're just going to go ahead and stop it now. Just going to carefully twist this open. And then I'm going to put my partial paper on top to do my final press. Now, the neat thing about the RF4000, guys, is that it can print on 100% cotton. It also does exceptionally well on polyester prints. As you guys can see right here, this is 100% polyester shirt. So you get the best of both worlds, guys. You guys get be able to do a polyester, also cotton, and you can also do mist fabrics like a 50-50 yeah, 60-40. So this machine is exceptionally well, especially if you're in a school system. As you guys can see, you don't need a lot of extra equipment. It's kind of compact on its own, having that built-in enhancer feature to it. That also prevents some um, some cases where you might have an open picture machine and get some picture mix around the area where the machine is at or other equipment. Everything is sealed on the RF4000, which keeps the area nice and clean. guys so here is our, our finished product 
go ahead and open up the units and I'm gonna go out to some basic maintenance on the RF4000. Now some of the things you guys wanna keep clean and keep track of will be your maintenance station. Now to keep that clean, we can go to our screen. We're gonna go to our maintenance menu. We're gonna go to regular maintenance and we're gonna press in and then cleaning. What that's gonna do, it's gonna shift our carriage over towards the center of the machine, allowing us to clean the maintenance station. So you wanna make sure you guys clean your little wiper right here. You clean your gaskets around those. Make sure you remove any dry ink buildup that might be on there. Now you don't gotta be super clean, but I do recommend you know keeping that clean as much as possible. As you guys remember, we have this little spray here that sprays cleaner onto our wiper, keeping that ink nice and fresh, but it's always recommended to do your daily maintenance. Also, you guys want to keep an eye out on your encoder. Make sure that's not getting dirty or too much uh, ink mist on it. Keep making sure that's clean. And you also want to make sure that your rods are clean. If they get a little dark, it's time to clean them. And that is fairly easy to do. Also, your filters, you want to make sure you guys keep those clean. Now, in case you guys go through your training and forget how to do all that maintenance, if you go onto the screen itself, you can go ahead and press yes here. We can go into our options and you can scroll all the way to the right. And then you're gonna see where it says videos. You can select that and then you select daily, three day or monthly maintenance. Once you select it, you're gonna get a QR code. Now this code, you can scan it on your phone and you can walk through our video. So sure you guys to do the maintenance on that. So that's a really nice feature. Also for the rear carriage or the enhancer carriage, this one here is virtually maintenance free. So there shouldn't be any reason for this to get maintained. You might need to replace the filters every now and then, but as far as cleaning it, it's pretty much me free. All right, guys, well, thank you for joining me today on this demo of the RA4000. If you guys have any questions or you want to schedule a live demo or a virtual demo or come here to our office, you guys can reach us at ricodtg.com.